World leaders praises Bangladesh's economic growth. Britain wants a credible election, says the foreign minister. No state has any pressure on Kyateka government, says the Kader. BNP wants election under Kyateka government, says the Fakrul. And Rabindranath Tagore's 162nd birth anniversary tomorrow, country to celebrate in a befitting manner. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozar Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Several heads of the state and government highly praised the leadership of Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The Premier has met with the heads of the state of various countries during her visit to the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, the heads of the state praised the economic growth of Bangladesh under the leadership of Sheikh Hasina. Besides, UK Foreign Minister James Cleverly had a courtesy meeting with the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Later, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, aka Abdul Momen told reporters that Britain wants to see a fair election in Bangladesh. No state has any pressure on Kyateka government, says the General Secretary of Awami League, Road for Sport and Business Minister Obadul Kader. He said, as a friendly country, everyone wants to see a free and fair election in Bangladesh. He said this at a function organized at Shetu Bhavan today. The Business Minister also commented that BNP is demanding a Kyateka government that can guarantee victory in the elections. All political parties should agree and demand elections under a neutral Kyateka government, says BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alungir. He said this while addressing the second session of Shodhu Rupujila BNP Council at Thakurgao today. He said BNP wants election not under a party government but under a neutral Kyateka government. New regional passport offices for residents of five nine police stations of the capital have started today. The operation of the office has started in a four-story building of a sector two of Block F, Aftabnagar, Dhaka East. Residents of Mugda, Shobujbag, Shahjahanpur, Hilgao, Rampura, Motichil, Bolton, Badda, Hatichil Thana stood in line with passport applications from ATM. Initially, the service users expressed their satisfaction with the new officers' activities. A stand action will be taken if irregularities are found in building construction, wants a Rajdhani Unnan Kotripokho Rajuk director Anis Rahman Mia. He said this to the journalists after visiting the building under construction in Mohammedpur area of the capital today. Calling for proper enforcement of a building construction laws, he said regular area-based inspections will be conducted to encourage building construction in accordance with the Rajuk rules and Rajuk will work with public representatives to ensure safe housing. Tomorrow is the 162nd birth anniversary of Bishu Kobi Domidonath Tagore who reshaped Bengali literature and music as well as arts of Indian subcontinent with conceptual modernism. On the occasion of the birth anniversary of Rabindranath, President Muhammad Shahabuddin and Prime Minister Shri Hasina issued separate messages today, praying rich tributes to the great poet. The government has taken up elaborate programs to celebrate the 162nd birth anniversary in a befitting manner. Rabindranath Tagore was born on 25 Boishak of 1268 in the Jora Shakur house of Maharshi Devendranath Tagore in the Tagore family. His countless fans will remember this noble literate Bengali poet through various programs. 
Rab has assessed the largest consignment of illegal drug ice worth the Dhaka Harman 20 crore from Polakali area of Ukia in Cox's Bazar district. Four persons, including one of the masterminds of the Cox's Bazar based ice smuggling operation with 24.1 kg of ice, were arrested. In a press conference at Cox's Bazar Rap 15 headquarters today, Media Wing Director Kondokar Al Moin told reporters that a team of Rab raided Palongkali area of Ukia based on secret information and recovered the illegal drug. Although the temperature was lower than before, while the fires continued to some parts of the country, stormy winds reigned in different parts of the country on Saturday. According to the Meteorological Department Office, a low pressure may develop in the Bay of Bengal today. If it eventually turns into a cyclone, it will be called Mokha. In the forecast for the next 24 hours from 9 a.m., the Meteorological Department said that rain or thunder showers with guts and gusty winds may occur temporarily in one or two places of Kulna, Borishal and Chittagong divisions. Along with that, there may be scattered hailstorms at some places. Viewers are now international news. Ukraine has accused Russia of using phosphorus bombs in the besieged Bakhmut. Drone footage released by Ukraine's military show Bakhmut on fire. With that looks like white phosphorus raining down, the use of white phosphorus bombs is not prohibited, but using them in civilian areas is considered a war crime. Phosphorus bombs help create faster spreading fires that are difficult to extinguish. Russia has been accused of using such weapons before. Western officials estimate that tens of thousands of the Moscow soldiers have died in the Bakhmut attack so far. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky visited The Hague on Thursday. Gun attacks have occurred again in the United States. At least nine people were shot in the gun attack that took place on Saturday local time. The police later shot and killed the alleged gunman. The shooting and casualties occurred outside a shopping mall in Allen, Texas on Saturday. A gunman shot and wounded at least nine people and killed an unknown number of others at a busy shopping mall north of Dallas on Saturday, police said. A police officer returned fire and killed him after he opened fire outside the mall. Allen City Police Chief Brain Harvest said a news conference. We are about to die into the headlines once again. World leaders praises Bangladesh's economic growth. Britain wants a credible election, says a foreign minister. No state has any pressure on Kyoteka government, says Kader. BNP wants election under Kyoteka government, says Fakhrul. Rabidurath Tagore's 162nd birth anniversary tomorrow. Country to celebrate in a befitting manner. Moscow accused of attacking besides the city of Bakhmut with phosphorus bombs. And Bangladeshi team now in England for three match ODI series against Ireland. Tough for fight to select us. That's all for our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.